Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing a Windows tablet PC. This is the Cube i7 Book. So first off, some basic specs. The CPU is a Intel Core M. It's the same type of processor that's found on the Microsoft Surface as well as the MacBooks. It has 4GB of RAM made by Samsung. The SSD is 64GB and the screen is a 10.6 inch 1080p which is the exact same model that's found on the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. And it also has a few high speed ports. Now before I start the review I do want to mention that the i7 book does have a tendency to overheat and unfortunately this caused major issues with the screen blacking out and the Wi-Fi having connection issues. However after a simple thermal mod you can lower the temperature significantly. I'll have a link to my video on that in the description below. So for the rest of this review the performance is with the thermal mod installed. So first up we'll take a look at the hardware. On the bottom in the center is the Pogo connection points and on either side are two magnetic slots. And these are used for an optional keyboard which I'll be showing a little bit later. On the left hand side we have some ports. Starting from the left we have the power, a micro USB 3.0, a type C, a micro SD card slot and a 3.5mm headphone port. The back is made of an aluminum alloy which is nice and solid. The top has a black trim with the camera in the middle. On the right hand side you have two speaker grills. And on the top you have a BIOS reset button along with a normal power button and volume rocker. Now for the software side of things. Initial load up is nice and quick thanks to the SSD. And this tablet PC does feature a full Windows 10 operating system. So although it does have features which make it easier to use in tablet mode, you can also use it as a normal PC, which means that you can install and launch regular apps just like your desktop. And if you're interested in using your tablet more like a regular laptop, you'll want to grab this optional keyboard dock. The hinge design is in a transformer style and the keyboard size is decent. You just line up the magnetic slots and it slides right in and due to the transformer style you get 120 degrees tilt. Any more than that then the tablet would tip over so that is a limit in the design. The keyboard is actually nice and sturdy and it doesn't have any real flex when you're typing and you do get used to it pretty easily. The touchpad is nice and precise, although it is a bit on the small side. You have a left and right click, as well as a few Windows gestures. Now functionally these Windows gestures might be handy to have, but when you're typing you do have a tendency sometimes to touch the edges with the palm of your hand, which inadvertently activates these gestures. Kind of annoying and currently I don't think there's a way to turn this feature off. The keyboard itself does have some extra ports. It has USB 2.0 ports on both left and right sides. One last thing to mention is that this keyboard dock can be used in reverse position and you can mount your tablet, fold it back and use it more in like a tablet form which is useful for writing down notes especially if you have a stylus. The screen on the Cube i7 book does have Wacom support so you have the ability to use any electromagnetic stylus pen to jot down notes on your tablet. And as you can see in the demonstration shown, the sensitivity and response is nice and fluid. There are no breaks in the lines and overall input is nice and reliable. Now if you wanted to use this tablet like a more traditional laptop, you can easily add an external hard drive. And you can also add more space via micro SD card or flash drives using the USB ports on the keyboard dock. And the overall performance is solid enough to do some light gaming. Here I'm demonstrating some Terraria. And for more graphic intensive games you might have to lower down the resolution. It does run Minecraft which is a CPU intensive game nice and smooth. And you can check that out on my thermal mod video. But generally speaking all your normal applications and light gaming should run without a problem. 
So overall, the Cube i7 book is a solid performer, equaling the performance of the Microsoft Surface Pro 2 at a fraction of the cost, and easily outperforms most of the tablets out on the market due to its Intel Core M processor. The only large issue is the overheating, and that can easily be fixed with the thermal mod, so make sure to check out my video on that. And as of this video, the Cube i7 book is currently on sale at banggood.com for 20% off. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe by clicking my icon for more videos on random tech, gadgets, and hobbies.